Well, this issue was on our show last night, and now we could be one step closer. Hello. I'm Michelle Wargo with your eye for... Oh, Oh. Don't be surprised if you hear lightning, see thunder. Just a few feet away from the wall that collapsed. Uh... All right, well, nearly 200,000 people were left without power outages. Investigators tracked them down in Lemon, Lemon, Lemonist, Lemonster. There we go. We'll be back after the break. I was getting excited about the pool and kind of blanked out for a second. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good story or a good song? You'll get the best of both this weekend at the Sounds of the Mountains Music and Story Festival. Time for sport now with Ken Sutcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> got caught out, didn't I? Oh, you got caught out. Well done, though. <laughs> Marriage is legal in New Mexico. The high court says it will wait until the issue makes its way through the lower courts. Plus, a first prize drawing for this 2012 Sam Swope BMW and... $10,000 <laughs> He's in Brussels for us now. Uh, Katya, I wonder if there's um, any suggestion that... Uh... Here in Bon Terre, Jaredith and, Moe, and, and Meredith and Joey. All right, thanks, Evan. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. Norfolk police right now still trying to find that man who robbed this 7-Eleven. Right away, I want to go ahead and show you guys. Well, expect some company... <laughs> Sorry, the sprinklers just came on. Kevin, is it a pretty typical night out there? It, it really is. You know, we spent countless nights just looking around the mall. And, oops. <laughs> okay, we're good. Keith Russell with a familiar... I know, that was on me. Here's his picture. NBC10 can tell you that his name um, is coming up later on. The Butler County School System pushed all media requests to Superintendent Scott Howard today regarding the bus, students, bus drivers, and teachers. Taking a look at the extended forecast, we're looking at, we're looking at some warm <laughs> temperatures. I don't know what's going on there. I'm sorry. We're actually looking um, at the studio. But don't turn the air seat or AC or fan directly on your pet. That can actually dehydrate, hydrate, trim, hydrate, trim, hydrate. I can't say that right now. I do a lot of research. <laughs> Anyway, researching the forecast today, I know you, Dick. <laughs> you got a good Live one TV. for us. Yeah. Let's get to our forecast. All right, Christina Davies. Track <laughs> Hello, oh my goodness. Happy Tuesday. Christina Davies tracking our conditions, <laughs> and this heat is just affecting my mind. <laughs> the ruble has been the worst performing currency this year, along with the Ukrainian. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I am not even going to try to say that right now. I apologize. The iconic toy store featured in the 1988 hit Big is closing. FAO Schwartz has been at the Fifth Avenue location in New York City for almost three decades. Should be lower 80s. We're heading mid and upper 80s for us this afternoon, and it will continue. Hello, Matt, throughout <laughs> the week. And that is our morning show executive producer, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Medical. Ugh, I didn't know it was going to move. <laughs> That was weird. Okay. Yeah, Adam, a panel fell off of one of the trains. The T says from now on, every two months or so, they'll be taking a look at the bolts that hold those panels in place to make sure they are secure. A Stanford wide receiver making a jaw-dropping catch that you're about to see. And we're not going to show it to you, actually, right now. How's that for a tease, huh? <laughs> Florida, Alabama, and now Auburn all needing a new coach. Uh-oh, here it comes. Knew that was going to happen. What do I do with that? <laughs> We're going to be back. Time capsules that will be uh, put in in uh, a few hours. The celebrations get going here at noon, and uh, we are celebrating some of the uh, um, at the contributions. 617, Amazon will replace John. Go ahead. All right. You I, I guess you I wanted to read that. Go All right. Well, we're talking about Amazon <laughs> replacing Microsoft in a South Lake Union office. It's part of a major expansion in Seattle. Brooks bucket list while she's in Rio trying the authentic cuisine. She made her first attempt at Coca Bun. Coca Bun. <laughs> Coca I can't say it. Thank you. She went to the beach. And this is a club, club very much. Oh, God. What is wrong with me today? Here at the Camp New, the reigning champion. Well, a British teen is getting a lot of attention over his new fart s smartphone. 
<laughs> I cannot believe it just happened to me. That's okay. That summarizes news stories. <laughs> I have seen so many bloopers with <laughs> That's that. That's a good one. Ah, that we could see a few storms up here in Springfield, though. Very light wind today. Highs eventually making it to the middle and upper 80s. Thanks, Brandon. A man is in jail this morning. A few clouds around Friday and Saturday, just 69 for the high in the Teton area, and then 84 again on Monday with lots of sunshine. So perfect weekend to spend some time outdoors. It should be pleasant out there. Yeah, I do enjoy 69. I might need to go up to the Tetons. All right. A giant inflatable pumpkin. Oh, my God. Well, there's this something you don't see every day. This busy intersection that's 25 feet tall, 350 pounds in all. Can you imagine? Where's the, where's the horseless headsman that goes with it? <laughs> doing all day. Uh, <laughs> you know, I questioned, okay. I questioned about even coming in today. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. Together, he does sun, a lot. <laughs> sunshine every day. Why even bother? You know? Oh my gosh, we have to move on. Chick-fil-A has a challenge for anyone who wants to eat at their restaurant. You have two phone numbers for context. Oh name. Lord. I apologize. <laughs> you know how sometimes your phone turns on? It's voice activated. I apologize. Oh my goodness, I'm tickled. Wait, okay, I can, I can read this story. We do want to take a look and show you what is happening, at least as we top some of our weather headlines now. Yeah, yeah just point to this point. Yep. You talk, I'll point. All right, fog burns <laughs> off. We go afternoon sunshine, Friday showers. You see, gorgeous weekend. <laughs> Good morning. You are watching WJCL 22 Morning News at 4.30 on Monday, August 3rd. I'm Megan Schiller. Renee has the day off. As you can hear, we have a fire drill going on right now. You can hear that blaring in the background. We are safe in here. They're just trying to figure out how to turn it off, so bear with us. Send it our way. We think there could be a pretty beautiful sunset tonight with the clouds breaking, a little bit of sun coming through. Yeah, there's nothing like, you know, honey, I shrunk the meteorologist in reverse. So we are now. Don't be scared. Uh, it can happen. Uh, maybe if I lean back a little bit here. Um, what a way to end February, Brian. We'll be uh, bringing in a cool day today, but much milder, milder tomorrow. Both days, though, you can get errands done and do things outside. No problems there. In the clear, because anything's possible, typically, on uh, a it day is, like this. Especially a spinning camera with, hey, everyone. See, the cameras are even excited about the uh, forecast. Hi, I'm Mick LaFay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mick LaFay. <laughs> I knew it. Solo shot. Exactly. Solo shot. <laughs> yep. I can't do it. <laughs> Barbara, health officials are trying to make that easier for all of us. Let's take a look at it. The Eagles and the Cowboys are tied at the top of the division with nine and four records. That game is Friday night at 7, uh, at 7.30 at AT&T Stadium. I mean, in Philadelphia. It's somewhere. They're playing on Sunday in the NFL. I think it's Philadelphia. All right, that's the sports. Let's go back to Bob. You can email friendslakebrownwood at... gmail.com. Gmail.com. My computer is all yes, it confused. Was, yes, thank you. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> Still to come on KSA News at ten. Here we go. The seventh bomb wing chapel is being given. You're you're a Mets fan, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I'm so happy for New York, man. I'm Dennis Haskins. I'm an actor. I was on the show. You were on the show. Familiar face here. Well, uh, I was a principal. You know, saved by the saved by the. Bell. Hey, can we just say go Mets? Congratulations, you earned it. I'm happy for you. Happy for the whole city of New York. Hey, Scott Stanford, come on. <laughs> Mr. Belding, giving the Mets a thumb of approval there. Well, time now for our focus on your health. Mike, you got anything over there for your health? Why don't we go to break? We'll be right back. 
This woman, 43-year-old Bernadette Music from Norwood, is charged with disorderly conduct. Police say two weekends ago she called 911 at least four times looking for a date. When police showed up to talk to her about a document show, she refused to answer the door, then urinated in the hallway outside her apartments. She was arrested at the time. And welcome back once again. I'm Jana Zapala reporting live from the Riverside County Jail. Oh, my goodness. Did I say the Riverside County Jail? Oh, my. You know, you can tell I've had the flu for a while. Sorry about that. The Riverside County Fair and the National Date Festival. Seventy years this has been going on. Hopefully they don't throw me in jail after that one. And still ahead on Good Morning Augusta. And I think we were trying to get in touch with Archif. He's going to tell us all about arts in the heart. We're going to check in with him. Oh, we've got him. Archif, what's going on down there right now? Two weeks ago. Hi. Hi. Sorry about that. You all right? Tied up a little bit. I was moving to another set a moment ago, and my shoelace got caught in my in microphone. In the backup microphone, not this one, the backup one. So uh, you're reading the news. I'm trying to get the microphone out and of I my shoelace. And I saw you in my monitor. I was like, what so is going on back there? So if you saw that a few there? minutes ago, that's what was going Live on. Live television, Microphone folks. in my shoelace, that's the first. And we are also following some developing news in Hartford this morning. This is where crews are working an overnight fire. This is happening at the Connecticut Resource Recovery Authority recycling plant. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Evan White is live at the scene. Evan, what do you got? Eric and Kim, good morning to you. The fire coming in about 420. Show me what you got. While we apologize, we lost Evan there. We'll move on to another story now. Better drainage could be on its way in Gulfport. I'll have the details. Two high schoolers from Pascagoula will be competing in Miss Mississippi Team USA this weekend. Coming up on News 25, hear from the two ladies who say they're not your typical pageant girls. All right, thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, and Cassie Wilson joins us live from Victorian Square with a look at the weekend ahead and what's on tap. Hey everybody, we are here in Victorian Square and on Sunday we're talking about the largest fireworks show. Watching the roadways for you wanted to shart. Shart? <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's going to make it on to YouTube. I uh, wanted to start here with a wide view of the map. <laughs> <laughs> Just send it to Scott. Oh, Just Chelsea. Send it to Scott. <laughs> you know, when that happens, a lot of people don't ever say they want to do that. It just, whoopsie. All right. <laughs> Seven after six so far this morning, and hopefully that's not happened to you this morning. And Cisco College brought music, prizes, and pizza to its annual information festival this evening, along with all the fun food booths were set up for prospective students to help find the program choices, student aid, and applications for the fall semester. In addition, Cisco College <laughs> announced its partnership with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University to provide a path to avionic degrees and careers. All right, we will take a look. You know, we're a little delirious. Yeah, I mean, it's 1239 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, this weekend kicks off National Parks Week. Entrance fees for all 59 national parks are being waived. They're all free, and the Park Service is encouraging everyone to visit. The agency turns 100 years old next year. <laughs> and, excuse me. <laughs> and with tens of millions of visitors every, every year, the park... <laughs> excuse me. I'm cracking up laughing. Sorry, and... <laughs> <laughs> and the parks want to make some long-needed repairs before the celebration begins. Here's Tracy Potts. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! Social media is being thanked for helping reunite a man with his therapy dog. Six years ago, Ink Glasser, uh, he adopted Kramer. He's a golden doodle. During a short trip from L.A. to Seattle in December, Kramer got lost. Friends rallied. <laughs> <laughs> Friends rallied to support the word, and it wasn't long before Kramer 
had his own page dedicated to the search. A shelter in L.A. came forward saying they found the dog, and the two were finally brought back together. This is all the video of it right here. So cute, right? Now, your first forecast with Chief Meteorologist Marissa Walzen. Well, unfortunately, we're having some technical difficulties at this moment. Let's see if we can head forward just a few ways, see if we can grab the weather computer, possibly. <laughs> we will come back to weather, uh, head on to the next story. I'll have a look at the hot temperatures coming up in just a bit, Bob. Okay, sounds <laughs> good. Thank you, uh, Marissa. Sorry. It looks like actually, there we go. Uh, take a look at this. The skies are mostly clear. Oh, the bird! I've been attacked! Oh! <laughs> oh, for a second there. I don't know about you guys, but it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like those B movies, and the giant bird came and attacked me. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, let's move on to some other stuff. <laughs> Clean up on aisle five. Uh, Welcome back. Retailers hoping for a pile of profit this Black Friday may want to stick their fingers into their ears for this story. I was worried about that for a second. <laughs> Americans are saving money faster than they're spending it. Get off the set, Ryan. It's a key shift in spending habits that started during the Great Recession, and the trend continues heading into the holiday shopping season. The U.S. Commerce Department says the savings rate in the U.S. <laughs> rose 5.6 percent in October. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, Matt. Well, thanks so much, and thanks for joining us this morning. And I think I'm gonna head out and try some TC Bubble Sacker. Yes. <laughs> Live television, <laughs> poor Lisa. <laughs> we're gonna take a look at soggy weather, but we'll have more on her live shot coming up. Uh, TC on um, uh, bubble soccer. I didn't yes. expect that. I apologize. Yes, she's flying. <laughs> that poor thing. Hopefully she's okay. We're gonna check in back with Alyssa coming up. Наслаиваться такие интересные моменты, которые только можно услышать. Сейчас на мне приходят люди, стоят без моей прилавка, хотят послышать, как какие интересные обороты речи. Такие свойственные только в Одесском регионе услышать. Ой, оно, оно бывает разные такие, вплоть, но все равно люди миролюбивы, бывает поругаются даже в ну, момент там каких-то несогласовок, но очень э, благожелательно и относятся с, с, нар, с терпением, что эмоциональный такой взрыв получился, но это все было сглаживается, что одесситы очень благожелательные, терпеливые и настроены миролюбиво. So take us inside your digs. I mean, this is not this is not your typical tent setup. I mean, you oh, are y'all ready? Oh, come on this in. This is come like on we're on, on cribs on right in. now. I have my TV right here. I have my ice chest with my food in it. I have my table. I have my electricity. You got some Wi-Fi in here? I ain't got no Wi-Fi. I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get some out here. Next step. All right. All right. right. You got Eduardo. You got your friend here, Eduardo. Eduardo, yes, okay. yes. Keeping you company. Okay. And you've also got a bed here. I got a bed. The man's got to sleep. Man's got to sleep. and he got to sleep comfortable. Give me a little wrap about Black Friday. <laughs> Yo, check it, check it, check it out. I hope you like the price because they're very, very nice. I'm doing what I do. I'm trying to get a TV just for you. Oh, one forty. Nine, four, 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 nine, itch. I hope you like the TV because I like it too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes! Welcome back to NBC 5 News at 11. I'm Devin Gooden, and we're going to take a look at some trending news for tonight. An Arizona grandmother and teen teenager continued a Thanksgiving tradition that started with the wrong text two years ago. <laughs> she thought she was... <laughs> The wrong text messages went viral on social media, and the two decided to meet in real life. They had so much fun together that Jamal started joining Dinch's family for Thanksgiving. That's a tradition they plan to continue <laughs> to continue for the next few Thanksgivings. I, I'd like to retire from doing uh, dinner <laughs> and let and pass it over to the younger generation, and I'll come and visit. <sighs> Can't have a hamburger fee without hamburgers. I consider myself the official NBC Nebraska taste tester. I'm going to give one of these hamburgers a shot. They were good, weren't they? The hamburgers were good. 
definitely, <coughs> as I'm choking, definitely worth the <coughs> $5 entry fee. <coughs> Never talk eat <coughs> bad decision, Natalie. Back to you. <coughs> oh my goodness. Well, I was going to say that looks really good, but I don't know what was in that burger to make him cough like Eamon that. is going to be <laughs> livid knowing that I saw him do that and he's never going to live it down. It's definitely worthy of YouTube. I'm going to get right on it after the news, newscast. So anyway, hope okay. you're okay, buddy. Yeah, I hope he's doing okay. Bro. Also, red flag warning is up across the area. Uh, I better get down here because obviously we got to fix this camera. So... <laughs> We'll try this and see what happens. We'll try this. Yes, okay. 84 degrees. This is going to be good in the knees, I'm telling you right now. 84 out there right now, and northwest winds about 6 miles an hour. Brian's cracking up. As I go over to show you the gorge, ah, my knees. Uh, it's 77 this hour in uh, Hood River, and uh, east winds now at about 6 miles an hour. A live camera there. Somebody coming out? Yeah, okay. 68 degrees. Bring this up. Bring this up. This is bad. 68 degrees and northwest winds at about 9 miles an hour. And uh, here's a quick look what's going on temperature-wise for you. Oh, that's better. Oh, yes. I feel so much better now that you two well, we have done this. We wanted you to feel... Wait a minute. Like part of the crowd. Oh, oh, I feel much there better. Yeah, there we go. over us as usual. All right. <laughs> Okay, we'll tell you what happened, but let me start for him. Saying Luzans are still upset after the NFL team's owner moved the Rams to L.A. Yeah, but the Indianapolis Colts are trying to ease the <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and rapper Snoop Dogg in a fight with Microsoft mogul Bill Gates. <laughs> The game, it's all over a game. Microsoft's <laughs> online game, Network Xbox Live, <laughs> suffered a major outage Wednesday afternoon and Slits <laughs> went on Instagram immediately, posted some profanity-laced video blaming Gates. Gates actually is not part of Microsoft's day-to-day -day operations anymore, but he's still on the board. And I have to tell you what happened. Brian coming over here ready, because he's Mr. Slick Brian, ready to do the news. And he almost, like, I I face almost down. face palmed, and but Don didn't try to catch me, but he, we almost saw a tragedy on live on TV. He was We're smooth, on okay. though. Somebody <laughs> had to videotape that. He was smooth. Sorry, folks. You know, yesterday I went for a long walk with the kiddo and the dog. Okay. Um, and so I kind of want to repeat that. I want to want to go for maybe a run earlier. Today. As early as possible probably is the best time for him to do anything outside today. All right. But it shouldn't be too bad for East Central Illinois. Very good. What'd you do yesterday? Did you go outside? What? Are you having a moment? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we discovered a new <laughs> You guys have heard of face swap. It's been around for I'm a while. Sorry. We just did it today, and <clears throat> I posted the picture on my Facebook page. <clears throat> Are you crying? I am crying. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we now call ourselves Synthony. <gasps> wow. It's a really creepy photo. I don't... I don't Please, know if you want Facebook to see it. Someone, one viewer commented saying, I will have nightmares for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I honestly, when I scroll through my feed and I see, not your picture, but I see those other pictures, oh. I don't realize what it is at first. And I, it does, it kind of like jolts you, it kind of scares it's you. It's a little creepy. If I ever wanted I'm to know what I look like swap. with long hair, no, I, <laughs> no, I <don't> <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> no! Thank that? you for that, producer. Who did that? Take that down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's what Cynthia that and Anthony would look like. Oh, they my that goodness. That is such a disturbing thing to see at 6, 16 a.m. I'm sweating. I can't even stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> a lot of people just turned off WCA. Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, Don't they change did. that channel. Okay. No, it's all right. If you had to see that, I would do it, too. I promise we won't do it again. <laughs> We'll be right We're back. We're going to we take a, a minute break. to collect right. ourselves a here. Break. A Super Bowl 50 just wrapped up on our sister station, 7 News, a few minutes ago. Since CBS is still on the air with post-game coverage, we're not allowed to show you any actual highlights of the game between the Panthers and the Broncos just yet. But that doesn't mean we can't tell you what happened and give you some highlights in 
fun fashion. Here we go. Obviously, the game started with a coin toss. That coin landed on tails, which the Panthers won, and they opted to receive in the second half. Now, let's introduce you to tonight's participants. We've got Miles the mascot representing the Broncos and Sir Purr stepping in for the Panthers. And they brought along some of their teammates as well. First quarter, Von Miller gets to Cam Newton, forces the fumble. The ball comes out. When the ball comes out, enter Malik Jackson. He jumps on it. In the end zone for the touchdown, Broncos up 10-0 after one quarter of play. But the Panthers come back in the second quarter. Jonathan Stewart gets the ball at the one-yard line, and he comes, leaps up and over across the goal line for the one-yard touchdown. That cuts the lead to 10-7. The third quarter is relatively uneventful. However, Panthers kicker Graham Gano misses a field goal. Oh! Off the upright, but the Broncos kicker Brandon McManus, meanwhile, connects on his third field goal of the game. Denver leads 16-7 entering the fourth quarter. It's a 16-10 game midway through the fourth quarter when that guy shows up again. Mr. Von Miller comes across. He gets to Cam Newton. The ball comes out once again and the Broncos recover. That sets up a C.J. Anderson short touchdown run and that puts the Broncos on top 24-10. And that, my friends, is the final score. So right now, over on our sister station, you see lots of Bronco people celebrating. And with celebration, you have confetti. The confetti falls, and that is what we've got as the Broncos win the Super Bowl. 24 to 10 is the final. Wait a minute. Some people are getting their lottery tickets for free. How does that work? Yeah, they're giving away 500 free tickets. We're down to about 200 this morning, and it's been really busy here this morning, actually. And we actually have the Hoosier uh, lottery <laughs> mascot doing Gangnam style for us this morning, so it's pretty festive for this early. <laughs> I want to see the guy in the suit and the tie yeah, do the same thing. <laughs> they want you to do Gangnam style. Can you dance for us? <laughs> I think I think that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> but he can tell us, you've done this before. This isn't the first time we've done the ticket giveaway. No, for sure. Anytime we get a jackpot that, uh, that gets on a little bit of a run, we like to come out and uh, get in on the phone with the players. So we're back at it. And tell me, we've seen, you know, it's kind of ebbed and flowed. It was really busy when we started this morning. Mm -hmm. There was a lull, and now you can kind of tell people are heading to work. They're stopping in this morning. What, what are some of the things folks have said this morning? You know, everybody's just excited. This is a moment where they start talking about what would I do, who would I call, who will I help. So uh, it's just fun listening to everybody chatter. All right, Al, thanks so much. And, you know, we were here at uh, 5 this morning, and there was a woman in line already uh, waiting for the ticket giveaway that started at 6. So we said, what are you going to do if you win? You know, everybody can dream. And she said the first thing she was going to do is change her phone number. <laughs> and the second thing she would do is call a family meeting to try to convince them all that money doesn't buy happiness. So we told her good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't believe, Jessica, that there's not a huge line out the door for the free lottery tickets. What, what, what gives on that? Well, there was. When they first started giving them away at 6, there was a line out the door, and then it kind of lulled, and now as people are heading to school and work, it's it's picking back up throughout the morning. So it's just kind of coming and going. <laughs> I, 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 the mascot is just hysterical. <laughs> I know. She's great, isn't she? I know. I really keeping the energy has... up, too, for so early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about how many live shots you have to go all morning and just how much dancing that mascot has to do. Let me. Are they paying that? This really helps. Oh, that person wins the lottery, right? <laughs> Jessica, thank you so much. <laughs> I know. You're wondering if you're seeing the winner walk through. <laughs> yeah, that is fascinating. <laughs> that is so funny. Everyone loves the mascot. Jessica, thank you. Perfect time to stay indoors. But for how much longer? What do you think, Leia? Yeah, dreary is pretty much what you're, what, what you're looking at outside right now. Definitely a lot of fog as well as a lot of rain. That's the story this evening, and we are expecting that, well, through the rest of the weekend. But for the week ahead, are we expecting that? I'll let you know after the break.